Hi Cancer, welcome to your singles reading for April. This is Miri, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Cancer, I've decided to bring the singles readings back. If you're familiar with my channel, I did do them, I think the end of last year into the new year. And if you did go onto my community tab about a month ago or so, I posted a poll I, I would like uh, viewers to participate in and what kind of readings you would like to see. So. This one and the spirit messages were among one of the choices and options and was voted uh, in one of the top ones. So I'm bringing it back. So please leave me some feedback, comments, how you like these readings. All the spirit messages are out um, as of today, which is the 29th. So um, I hope you enjoy this. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, male or female. I could pick up past, present, future energies. I guess kind of take it how it resonates for you. But this is intended for singles who want to know when new love is coming in, who's coming towards them kind of energy. If you do have a connection with somebody, uh, whether you're together or not, I do do a love connection reading. Um, all the April ones are out. And you feel free to check that out also. So welcome, Cancer. Hope everybody's doing well and hope you are all staying uh yeah, staying safe. And uh, let's see what we get for you, Cancer. Let's see what we get for you, singles, at this time for Cancer. At this time. Everything you need to know, Cancer, is down below in the description box, in the pinned top comment, how to reach out for personal reading. Um, your playlists are below, Love in General. If you like to go back, I consider them all timeless. Decks I'm using, and if you'd like to purchase them for yourself, the links are there to Amazon to purchase them. A lot of people ask me the decks I'm using because they want to purchase them, so I pro provided you um, links below. They are affiliate links, so just so you know. And um, <clears throat> if you'd like to tip, donate, or send a gift or anything like that, that info is below. And if you're not comfortable with PayPal or you don't have a PayPal account during the premiere only of this video, Super Chat's open and available for tips, donations, energy exchanges. And if you do, thank you. So Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Single. So the first thing I want to do here, Cancer, is get the energy of this person. We'll see what kind of energy they're sitting in. It could be something going on around them or just their energy in general. And then we'll get their spirit energy here, what their spirit is like. And then we'll get love energy, what their love energy is like. And then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. And then we'll look at how and where you might meet this person, a possible time frame of when, and then what kind of connection it could be between the two of you. So let's see. For Cancer Singles, please, Spirit, thank you so much. New love, incoming person, the thinking woman. So it can be man or woman. There is a thinking man in this deck also. So we have 47 there, which is 11, which is two is about unity of some kind. So this could be somebody who is um, very philosophical. I can, can never say that word. Philosophical, you know, is very um, intelligent. Somebody maybe who likes to read. Uh, they could work um, using their mind a lot. They could be a writer they uh, of some kind like a journalist or a reporter or something like that I feel like someone who's very smart analytical practical all right so somebody maybe could be somebody also that overthinks too much also so we'll find out once we get into the tarot all right could be an overthinker all right so what is their spirit energy like what is their spirit energy like for Cancer, please? What is their spirit energy like for this new love who's coming towards Cancer? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What? Spirit, please. What is their spirit like? All right, take that one. <clears throat> and we have Seek. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy, and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spare and always will be connected to one another. But I'm getting seek here. I think this person is always seeking knowledge, seeking advice, think, uh, seeking answers. Um, I mean, they could be spiritual also. But you see, 
like this person always seeking like the facts, the truth, um, just always seeking, seeking, maybe just seeking more knowledge in general. All right, so let's see what their love energy is like for you, Cancer. Or they could be seeking, just be seeking a partner, um, kind of energy also. So we'll see. So what is their love energy like for Cancer singles who's coming towards them? New love for Cancer, please. Thank you so much. New love who's coming towards Cancer. What is their love energy like? Please, spirit. Okay. <clears throat> we have here apprehension, moving out into the world, doubt and fear. And we have 18, which is nine. So, you know, nine can be a number of being a little defensive on guard, um, almost at the end of a completion. And then there would be a new beginning. So they may be a little apprehensive about new love <laughs> going out into the world. So maybe they're not even looking for a relationship or looking for anybody. So we'll see. Oh, so we'll see how this plays out for you, Cancer. They may be just, I feel like an overthinker. They may want someone. They may want a partner, you know, a special somebody, but they're apprehensive. They have doubt and fear for some reason. So they may just, you know, just really overthink just too much. And uh, reminds me of the Eight of Swords energy, just being a prison of their own mind. All right. So, let's see what this energy is all about for you, Cancer. Why is this person in this energy? Two of Cups. So, we got soulmate energy here. But we have the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is getting what you want no matter what. It can be good energy or bad energy. So, let's see. Let's get a few more. The Ace of Swords, Truth, Clarity. I feel like, let's get a few more. I'm getting the, um, okay, so now we have the Magician and the King of Swords. So this is manifesting a new beginning. And now we have the King of Swords, so they could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I feel like here, I mean, the King of Swords definitely is all about the mind. Swords is all about the mind. So there definitely could be the overthinker here, thinking, thinking, thinking all the time, analyzing everything, like wanting to manifest a new brand new beginning for themselves, but overthinking it here, the King of Swords energy. But I mean, the Ace of Swords here is, you know, a victorious new beginning, it's truth, it's clarity, uh, epiphany, aha moment, spiritual awakening kind of energy also. So the Five of Swords, I mean, they could have been in a relationship where it was all one-sided and somebody was uh, very selfish and all about themselves. So maybe it got them stuck in, could be that they stuck in this energy of, you know, of the past. But for somehow, you know, they probably, you know, they seeking here. So they seek knowledge and they received clarity. So what they were seeking, they found. They found the clarity they needed to manifest a new beginning. But I feel like they're still apprehensive and overthinking, especially with the King of Swords energy. So I feel like I need a couple more clarifiers here. Uh, let's see. What is this Five of Swords about? Why does this person have the Five of Swords for Cancer? New love and coming person. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, so. So this is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That's your energy, actually. So they, the, you know, the Knight of Cups is like moving forward in love. So they probably... You know, had somebody, met somebody in the past, thought things were moving along fine in love, and then all of a sudden they find out maybe, you know, the real nature of this person, very selfish, getting like selfish, narcissist kind of person, you know, all about themselves. All right. 
Eight of Cups in reverse. So, Eight of Cups about walking away, but then walking to something more fulfilling. So maybe they didn't have the courage to leave this because we do have, oh, it's the Three of Cups. All right, it's the Three of Cups. I thought it was the Eight. Three of Cups in reverse is about celebrating, rejoicing, happy times. So this was not a joyous, happy time for them. Not so. So they, you know, I think they gained the clarity they needed and, they, and they're manifesting a brand new beginning for themselves. They have the truth and clarity. But yet they're still a little apprehensive. They want to see new love, true love. But they're overthinking and a little apprehensive, I feel. They could be a little cold in energy also. They could be, um, you know, they could be with these swords here. They could be a lawyer or a doctor or work in uh, <clears throat> the medical field. or uh, You know, the law and, you know, work with the law or something like that. They could even be a police officer. Or something like that also all right so let's see here the knight of coins so now we have Virgo Taurus Capricorn so now we're getting a lot of different signs here so they could literally be anybody so I want to see here um, how and where you may meet this person so let's see the six of cups all right, let's get a few more. I'm going to see if I can piece together where and how you may meet this person. Judgment. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. In the Four of Cups. Ooh, so <clears throat> you actually may meet them like uh, at the courthouse. You know, if you have to go in there for some reason, may not, you know, having, you know, to go to court, but maybe you have to go there for some reason. Because we have judgment and then we have the Six of Cups can be of things of the past. Maybe there's a family reunion or something like that. And of course, everybody's in quarantine right now. So this would have to be after, you know, this whole <laughs> pandemic passes. But there could be like a family reunion and maybe, you know, for some reason they're there. I'm not saying they're family, but maybe, uh, you know, they're invited invited by, a, you know, a friend or a family member. They're a friend and they tag along <clears throat> kind of energy. I do have horses here. So something with horses, too. Um, if any of you are into horses, could be something with horses here. Um Maybe a family reunion. Somehow they're there. It could be a friend of uh, an extended family member or something like that. <clears throat> or even in the park or, you know, on going on a hike. Or maybe even in the courthouse or around the courthouse or something like that. So a lot of different scenarios here. So if you feel like one of those scenarios fit you, then take what fits for you. So, so far we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, all right. So, let's get a time frame. Let's get a time frame. And, you know, maybe you go to the courthouse for some reason to get documents or something, and maybe they work there. Um, so, they could. I'm, I'm feeling law, medical, they could work in that field of some kind. All right, so let's get a possible time frame of when you can meet this person. So we have the five of coins, which is fall. We have the hermit, which is Virgo, which is the end of summer. <clears throat> let's get one more. So pretty much all my readings, the time frame has been like end of summer into fall or even into winter. The Fool, that is Aquarius energy, so I mean, that just went by. Um, so that'd be the beginning of the year. So it could be anywhere from fall, end of summer into fall, or even uh, the beginning of next year for some of you here. <clears throat> Doesn't mean that, you you know, when we're able all to get out again, that you're not going to date other people till then, that this could be a, a significant connection that you make. 
We may just date others and may just be like one date. So, all right. So, Cancer, let's see what kind of connection this would be for Cancer with this person, with this person. So we have the Two of Wands. We have the Star, and then we have the Four of Swords. So, you know, the Four of Swords is about rest, rejuvenation, recuperation kind of energy, <clears throat> going in retreat mode. But then we have the Star, which is a divinely guided energy. It's about healing, transformation, um, faith, hope, optimism, wishes and dreams coming true. So I do see, you know, two wands kind of being at a crossroads, but choosing a path and then making plans and decisions as you're journeying down that path. <clears throat> it's divinely guided energy here, the star, healing. But then we have rest. So I do see a divinely guided connection, you know, passion with the wands, you know, and then deciding, okay, let's make plans for the future, choosing a path. But then we have a uh, retreat mode here for some reason. So let's see why the four... The swords is here. I feel like here, you know, two energies and, you know, key here, key to the heart. So I feel like it could be this person also because we do have apprehension here that, uh, you know, they may feel the connection is divinely guided. It's intense. You know, now we're making plans and decisions and maybe they get a little scared and there's that apprehension. Look at that. It's almost the same energy. Here, if you look at that, so it could be male or female. So <clears throat> they may get, you know, a little apprehensive here and need, and need to retreat because they're getting a little scared about this moving forward in the future. So what, any other messages about the connection for this for Cancer Singles Spirit? Five of Wands. Yeah, they're going to have a lot of inner conflict here. A lot, lot of inner conflict, I feel. I think they're going to need time to think about this. Two of Swords. Yeah, and they may be a little indecisive about this union. Inner conflict. Conflicted. <clears throat> what else? But there's the best card in the deck. So ultimately here, I do see you know, soulmates coming together, they may have to go, you know, off on their own and figure this out for themselves. If they truly want this. And the sun here is about soulmate twin flame energy. It's happiness, joy, success, victory, healing, enlightenment, success, victory. I mean, it's the most positive card in the deck. So that's a good energy. So overcoming all this energy here and the queen of wands, king or queen, doesn't matter. So now we have fire. So we have all the elements here now, Leo Sag Aries. Very fiery, passionate energy. Hangman. So yeah, they may have to take a little break. They may feel a lot of passion. They take a little break. But then ultimately faith here is this is the um, Hierophant card. So this could lead to commitment, long-term commitment marriage. Temperance. So they need to balance out their energies here. So have being patient with them as they balance out. And this is also faith and healing kind of energy. Divine timing. Eight of Wands, so fiery, passionate communication, taking travel, action here. You know, and needing, again, to balance out the energies with the Two of Coins, and then things moving forward. Page of Swords, have an honest, truthful communication. Totally knowing here that this is my Ten of Cups person, and wanting this total fulfillment and happiness and joy, happy home and family every single way. Finally, listening to their intuition, their higher knowing having the truth and clarity, now moving forward, balancing out energy, passionate, truthful communication, balance, patience, healing, commitment long-term or marriage after a pause or a break here, a lot of fiery, passionate energy, go-getter kind of energy. So Cancer, it may be somebody here who could be a little, you know, shy, apprehensive, uh, have a little fear and doubt. They may overthink, overanalyze everything, always seeking, you know, truth, clarity, 
knowledge kind of energy. So they may take their energy back and you may, you know, get a little upset, but it's telling you, you know, have patience with them as they figure it out. And then ultimately they get clarity here with the sun, the most positive card in the deck. So it's up to you, Cancer, what you would do with this energy. But I do see possibly a long-term commitment of some kind here and a possible marriage even. Okay, Cancer, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.